All right, guys, upon opening up this box, we do have a 10 inch screen, confined brand stereo. This does come with a quad core, 1.8 gigahertz, one DDR3 gigabytes of RAM. So it's pretty decent, it's not too bad. I did get this unit for $100 from China. So I'm excited to go ahead and test it out. I didn't wanna to spend too much because I didn't wanna go you know, too expensive. So this was a decent price. So let's go ahead and check it out. It does come with a GPS antenna. It does come with the plug and play stereo wires and the USB extensions there. So, and then I have this rear view camera that I'm gonna go ahead and install. All right, guys, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and lower our glove compartment, then put our keys in the ignition, put it on the on position, then lower our gear so we can have more room. You wanna push your brake, lower the gear, now we have more room right here. The first thing we're gonna do is get our little pry bar a little plastic one. I usually like to use this so I won't dent anything on the dash. I've used a screwdriver before but it leaves markings everywhere so this is the safest way to go. So I have this one also. I usually bought a kit so these work pretty good. So the first thing you start doing is taking out these plastic pieces right here so you get on the edge right there and you can see there it starts to be removed. So as we take both of the plastic pieces off, the cigarette lighter comes off together. We're gonna go ahead and disconnect all the electrical there. And you see we have access to the AC control unit. All right, so on this AC control unit, what I had to do was grab it from both sides with both of my hands and then I pulled gently out. So it has, it has no screws, it has nothing, it's just clip-ons. So just be careful not to break the clips. All right, so down here we have two 10 millimeter bolts. So I got my drill here, make this easy. All right, so now we're gonna remove this top plastic piece to have access to the bolt on the top of the stereo. I went in between and just pulled it out. So it's clipped, just be careful not to break anything. Now we have access to these two 10 millimeter bolts. Once you remove the bolts, you'll be able to pull out the stereo and now you can go ahead and just remove all the electrical wire from the back. All right guys, so this is the wiring harness for the Android stereo. Uh, once you put in the vehicle information, what Confine does, they make it specifically for your vehicle. So these clips just clip on your old wiring original harness that comes out. So female to male, so right here, this is a very easy process to install. So that's why, one of the reasons why I bought it. So I won't have to go through the whole snipping everything and cutting all these wires. This is the best way to go, very clean. All right, so for the new stereo, we need to remove the mounting bracket from the old stereo and just have the bracket and then screw the bracket on in order for the clock to be aligned with the new housing because in back of the new housing it doesn't have any place for this bracket to go so you just mount it and then the new radio will just be placed and clipped upon there all right so i did run the usb wires to the glove compartment so that's how it looks before, before i was going to put everything back on i went ahead and made sure that it powered on because i've done it before where I put everything back on and there was an issue. So power's on, we're good to go. Everything's gonna go clip back on. Let's go ahead and check this unit out. 